Welcome to part three of the WordPress blogging tutorial. In the past, we've seen how to set up a post and add some advanced formatting. Now we're going to go beyond just written words and we're going to get into rich media, how to put in pictures, audio, and even embedded video to make your content more dynamic. So we'll start with a new blank post and we'll give it a title. The best way to get an image into your blog content is to just provide WordPress with an address online where the picture already resides. If you're working with a webmaster, they can supply you with this pretty easily. If you've been just browsing other websites and you found something you liked, you can also just copy that right in the post. So we'll use that as an example. Let's say I'm browsing around and I see this nice blog here and this picture looks like something I might want to use in my own blog so I'm going to copy the image location that puts it on the clipboard and I can now paste it back into WordPress to get the photograph in the content what I do is I click on this little tree icon it says insert slash edit image once I click that it will ask me for the URL that's the address of the image I just copied it now I can paste it. Next it's going to ask for an image description. Now this is important because search engines will use this tag along with certain other criteria to decide how high you're going to rank for various keywords in Google and Yahoo all the other search engines. So it is worth your trouble take a few seconds and put in some sort of an interesting description. Also, if the picture fails to load because of a slow connection or any other reason, this text will show up in place of it and it'll make the experience of reading your content a little more seamless. So let's try something. We'll use the black cats are not all unlucky. It's provided the dimensions for us. If you want to change the alignment, left, center, right, and so on, you can choose that here. I'll also give it a little border two pixels. That's a nice thin border that goes around the picture. And now I'm ready to insert. And there it is. I can type a little caption underneath. And I might highlight that and italicize it like a lot of captions are. Now we've got a picture in there. Now let's say I'm ready to embed a YouTube video, something to make my post even more interesting. I can go up, I've already found a video that I like, I'm ready to put it in, and every YouTube video will supply you with this embed code right here. Under the title of the video, this code is exactly what you can paste into your blog and it'll allow you to play it right in your blog. Copy it like you did the image before. Now what you just copied from the YouTube page, that's raw code. You don't want that showing up on your blog post itself for everyone to see. You want that to go behind the scenes so that the video is shown in place of it. To do that, you're going to click on code and under here, under the last thing, which is the caption from the photo, there you can paste in the code that you just copied from YouTube. Now you can see why you wouldn't want that showing up. It looks terrible. You'd rather have your nice moving pictures. We go back to visual. Now you won't see the video right away, but if you click publish, on the landing page you're going to see your finished post. The title, followed by the photo, followed by the caption, and then a little thumbnail of the video we just embedded with a button in the middle to play it. There it is. You have the option to control the volume. You can even use the menu button to look at other options. It's that easy. That'll do it for part three of the WordPress blogging tutorial. 
we looked at rich media, adding pictures and embedded video content to your blog. In part four, we're going to get into some more advanced features, including managing categories, plugins, opening your blog for commenting, and a lot more. Thanks for watching.